Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back. Today I wanted to make a video about something that is very sensitive to me. <clears throat> but I wanted to talk about it. And I'm hoping that not only will this help me with my process, but it might help others as well. <clears throat> and uh, what we're going to talk about today is grief. So I have my coffee ready. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be doing my makeup and talking to you a little bit about how it's been these past four months trying to go through my grieving process my whole life i've lost a few people um i've been to a few funerals but they weren't people that i was super close with so this is the foundation that i use it's the clinique beyond perfecting foundation and concealer um i really really like this one it's a pretty full coverage one so this is the one I'm using so far as of late. <clears throat> but yes, um, it wasn't until four months ago that I lost probably the most important person in my life. And that was my sister. She um, died of cancer. And this is really hard to talk about. <laughs> but I want to do it because a year from now, I want to be able to make a video like this again and see that I have gotten better. that I'm in a better place than I was today. <laughs> but, um, <sighs> my sister was honestly the nicest person on this planet. I would always say that about her. I would always say that out of everybody that I knew in my whole life, she was by far the, the nicest person. And I was so lucky to have her as a sister. I really was. She always looked after me. She always took care of me. <laughs> she was kind of like a second mom. <sighs> she was a, an amazing, an amazing mother. An amazing wife, an amazing daughter. <clears throat> She's an amazing sister. She was hardworking. She always made sure that her kids were okay, that they need they had everything that they needed <clears throat> and more. <laughs> and she was the most supportive person in my life. No matter what crazy idea I came up with, she would always have my back. She would always encourage me to to not quit and to keep on moving forward. <clears throat> she was my number one fan. My number one supporter. And um, she was very supportive of me doing this channel as well. So... My sister, her name is Cassandra. I call her Cassie. That's why I changed my name to Cassie Dragonfly um, to honor her. And um, <clears throat> out of myself, my mother and her, we're the three girls of, of our family. Um, 
so i have a butterfly tattoo my mom has a hummingbird tattoo and my sister had a dragonfly for some reason we connect with these animals and we all just realize that hey they're all flying creatures um but yeah we all have a tattoo of these these animals <clears throat> on our bodies and um hers was a dragonfly um so that is why i changed my name to that it is to <sighs> It's to honor her. I was there the day she passed. Um, and that is a horrible memory in, in my brain, honestly. It was, <clears throat> it was a little traumatic, to be honest. Um, she was going through a lot of pain. and suffering um she ended up losing all mobility from her neck down for like the past the last month that she that she had or so um so i can't even imagine how living like that felt like but she was always so strong she was always just trying to stay positive. Always. Always, always. <sighs> Sorry, I'm such a mess, but this is, this is real, you know, this is <sighs> as real as it gets. When she did pass, I did feel that sense of relief because I was happy that she wasn't suffering anymore you know she had been battling cancer for about a year and a half almost two years it was a very very long journey but um, you know I just got to the point where the the tumor spread to places that were inoperable And it just kept coming back. So. We knew she was going to pass. Which was. When I found out. It was. The hardest news I've ever received. Okay. So for my eyeshadow. I'm going to use the Ilia palette. And I'll probably be using this one and this one. Just something super simple, super natural. After she passed. Dang, that was, it was hard. <laughs> um, I didn't want to talk to anybody or be around anybody. I wanted to be with myself and my family um, <clears throat> and a feeling that I had that was pretty strong besides sadness was anger I was angry that not only did this happen to someone who didn't deserve it but someone who had the biggest heart <laughs> I was angry because she didn't deserve to go through what she went through I was angry because she was gone at such a young age she was 31 <clears throat> and um, she she had so much to live still she had so much to do still I had so many memories to have with her still and now I can't she was married 
she had two kids, two boys, two amazing boys for like everything. And I'm mad that she's not going to be able to see them graduate or have girlfriends or <clears throat> she's not going to see them walk down the aisle. She's not going to. know what it feels like to be she's not gonna know what it feels like to be an aunt a grandma she's not gonna be able to see me walk down the aisle she's not gonna be able to hold my children So I'm mad. I'm definitely so angry. I feel like <clears throat> in life it's important to tackle these emotions, good or bad. You know, it's it's not good to ignore them or sweep them under the rug and just forget about them. It's to me, it's important to just feel what I have to feel and tackle it on and just allow myself to feel what I have to feel. Allow myself to let whatever needs to come out to come out. But for some reason, I feel like I just can't think about her too much. Not not yet I think about her from time to time but I don't allow myself to think about her for too long because it just it's so painful it, it, it's so painful it hurts so much to know that she's not here anymore to know to know that I can't her anymore she was the one person that i could always go to and talk to she would always give me advice she would always be there for me she would never judge me for anything that i i said she would just always be there she was my go-to if i ever had any issues with life or just anything now that she's gone i don't have that person so i've been feeling lonely I definitely <clears throat> I definitely have been feeling more lonely than ever for sure <clears throat> some of the things that I've noticed is that uh, for some reason I, I feel like I'm very forgetful now <laughs> like I literally went inside my house to get lashes and that's like like 20 steps from here and as soon as i got to my room i was like what did i come here for <laughs> like that happens all the time now like i used to like that used to happen to me from time to time but um this is the Ilya blush in what's the name Blah. oh at last um yeah that used to happen to me from time to time but now i feel like it happens so many times in one day it's insane like i my memory is just for some reason just blocked i like have the mer worst memory right now <clears throat> Um, it's also very hard to wake up and try to have a positive day. I used to wake up and have my routine. I would even tell myself like, today's going to be a great day. Um, and I felt like that would work and it would end up being a great day because I was just positive and, you know, um, starting the day positive and all, but <clears throat> that doesn't work anymore. Um, 
having a positive good day, it feels like a lot of work nowadays. It's a little exhausting. My mind goes to dark places a lot more. <clears throat> and by dark places, I mean sadness and anger and, and frustration and stress and insecurity. Like, I don't know why, but I've noticed that I... I've noticed that I feel like more insecure. I think it has to do with the fact that I don't feel like myself anymore. I don't feel like <clears throat> the same person anymore. I really don't. So I think I'm like trying to figure out who I am now without her. And it's, it's, it's going to be a long journey. I know it is. It's, it's, I know a lot of people say that. It doesn't necessarily get better. You just get, become more of, of aware of how to get through days. <clears throat> like, I'm always going to miss her. I'm always going to love her. I'm always going to sad that she's gone the past few years I became someone who was excited about life I felt like I found my passion my purpose <clears throat> I was doing things that made me feel uncomfortable but as soon as I did them I felt like I accomplished something and the more I did it, I became more comfortable with the things that I used to be uncomfortable. So I just was someone who was in love with life and I was very excited for the future. Like I was very proud of the person that I have become. And now I'm struggling a lot with getting back to that person. I want to love life. I want to, you know, be excited about the future and that is my goal you know <clears throat> i don't know how long it's gonna take but i hope it's sooner rather than later because i just i know she wouldn't want me to feel this way i know that she would want me to live my life to the fullest and to be as happy as I possibly could I'm gonna try to do that every day as, as hard as it may be I am gonna try to do that um, I would I would love to to hopefully buy her one year mark which is in January <laughs> I want to be able to like feel excited about life again, feel more of a confident person, feel happier. <sighs> That's my goal. Will it happen? I don't know, but I promise you and I promise Cassie, I will. I will try every day and I won't give up and I might give up for a few days you know um, just kind of like <clears throat> allow myself to feel down <sighs> but I won't let it last I will pick myself back up and more importantly, I will make sure that I am as good as I can be so that I'm there for my godsons who need me more than anything. I need them more than anything. I promised her that I would look after them and I intend to 
do that. I'm not gonna let her down. And here, I'm sorry, I was a bit of a mess. I feel like having little breaks to do my makeup kind of helped me bring myself back together. Um, but yeah, I just, I know I'm not the only one out there going through this. Um, but I hope that this video will hopefully help someone who is going through a grieving process as well. And I hope they feel less alone watching this video. I'm listening to podcasts. I'm doing activities to, you know, distract my mind, I guess. Um, I'm considering therapy. I also understand why people can be so mean sometimes like i am a nice person but sometimes i feel like punching someone in the face for no reason or a super small reason i understand how people can become alcoholics after this drug addicts after this it's crossed my mind i'm not gonna do it <clears throat> because you know I have my two boys um, I have my family I have myself <clears throat> but it has crossed my mind I, the pain has been so extreme sometimes that I just want to feel numb and what makes you numb alcohol and drugs you know I understand I understand that I understand when people do become that like I get it <laughs> I understand why they did that because we just we don't want to feel like this we want to forget the pain not feel the pain but yes if you're watching this and you're going through something similar just know you're not alone and just know that it will get better it's gonna take a long long time you know some people say it sometimes doesn't even go away but we as humans are quick to adapt to situations and that's just kind of what I have to do here. I have to adapt to the fact that she's... That she's gone. And she's not coming back. And I know the best thing that I can do for her is to keep on going keep on going as hard as it is never give up and just live a happy life and that's what I'm gonna try to do and I hope you do too <coughs> well thank you so much for watching this video towards the end it was hard but necessary too thank you for all the love and support i really really appreciate it i am still on the path of doing more traveling just figuring out life right now and um you know doing the best that i can but i appreciate the patience and the understanding and um i'm gonna keep on moving forward you know i'm gonna do it in her honor and I'm gonna make her proud of me but thank you for watching if you are not subscribed um, please go ahead and click the subscribe button 
the like button leave me a comment i would love to hear from you guys um and i really hope you guys have an amazing day today stay strong you're not alone we will get through this and please if you feel alone put in effort to reach out to somebody we're all battling something we're all trying to get through this crazy life that can be extremely hard sometimes so we're very most of us are very focused in in ourselves and making sure that we're okay um but we're humans we will be there for other people and so if there is someone you want to be there for you just just reach out to them be vulnerable let them know that you're having a hard time and you know sometimes they'll say no and that's okay you know rejection sucks especially during this time but i truly believe that it'll make you stronger as well and if that person wasn't there for you then that's okay someone will be i promise and 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 if you have no one like reach out to me i will i will be there for you um <clears throat> no matter who you are like we're all on this planet for a few years you know and and we have to look out for one another we have to be nice to each other so okay i'm gonna stop but you guys have an amazing day and thank you so much for watching